Welcome to the Iowa City Video Game Show on PA TV. I'm Brian Albert. I'm Jason Gagner. Um, we're going to be playing some Modern Warfare 2 uh, to kind of like send it off and get ready for Modern Warfare 3, which comes out on the 8th, so next Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Um, we were going to play Modern Warfare 1 to start things off and just roll through 1 and 2. Um, it but wasn't one, pretty. Um, I've heard that 1 has some issues now where they don't regulate it as much and there's a lot of cheating. And we played a match right before the show started, and it's pretty apparent that that is true. Um, so that would not be fun to play or fun to watch. Um, so we're just going to dive right into Modern Warfare 2, um, probably play some Spec Ops and, and just the multiplayer stuff. Every week we put up the list of top Xbox Live games, and this game's still pretty high up there. Yeah. It's so. usually like still up in the top like four or three or whatever. So we should be, yeah, right there. Um, Battlefield's still up there. Surprising. Modern Warfare, yeah. Gears yeah, as well, so... Gears, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, FIFA, Forza, Halo Reach, Madden, GTA 4. Yeah. GTA 4 hanging on after three Almost, and a half years. Yeah, three and a half years. That is the oldest game on there. So there <coughs> are uh, five levels of like difficulty in Spec Ops, I guess. Like five tiers right here. Yeah. Alpha Bravo, Charlie Delta Echo. Um, what do we start on? Let's just start, start there, yeah. Um, what difficulty? I don't know. That's fine. This is fine? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, this one is like the, how fast just you the clear pit, it. Just the pit, yeah. So this is a training mission from the beginning of Modern Warfare 2 where they just basically orient you with the controls and, and whatnot. Yeah. Let's, let's do this. <clears throat> All right. We start. Okay. Let you me, good? Let me, I'm grabbing a different gun and then we are good to go. I've, I've got rumble. Um, All right. Okay, so rumble it is. Got him. Jeez. Dylan has shut up, so we're gonna have him join us here in a little bit. Oh no, I missed one. Where? I don't know. Uh, oh, he there was, he is. He was behind the other one. Oh, I hit a civilian. Did we get them all? No, we didn't. No, we did not. Um, so, so, basically, this, this is pretty sloppy. Um, this is definitely one you want to do on your own, so you don't have to rely on other people. You can do it really quickly on your own. It's true. Aside from this, and we've already got a three star in this one, so let's just move on. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so that was the first oh. mission. It, they're all pretty similar. They're like scenarios from the campaign. What do you want to do? I don't know. I don't care. Just, yeah. Regular? Just do veteran. Veteran? It's not too hard on veteran. Oh, that's what we've got. Hardened. We I'll switch off. You want to play one? Nah. No? I'm pretty bad at this mission. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this one's tough. Uh, it's for the second mission, this one is... Uh, I'm interested to see what new types of missions they will come up with for Modern Warfare 3 and exactly what, how they'll wrap that around the campaign. Also really excited for the campaign. No. Was there a beta for No. Not external. There's an internal beta, but they've never done an external one. Um, which they've got the, I mean, they have a formula that they know. Yeah. I will claymore everything. Where's the sound? Okay. I thought there was some issues there. We're good. Oh. Yeah, it really is best to stay up there. You can't see much from down here. <laughs> no, get back. <laughs> this is definitely a really good uh, kind of Probably one of my favorite co-op modes in any game. Um, Left 4 Dead's obviously 
fantastic, but yeah, Leopard Dead and this kind of and kind of itches that same, I guess, scratch uh, for co-op and, and just reliant being what's reliant knife? on what's knife on these controls, <laughs> <laughs> being reliant on someone else. Yeah, this was Jared's profile. I mean, it still, it still is, and he's played this a long time ago. And oh no, what is happening? I think he switched it to like a, a tactical layout or something like that. I mean. There's a quick button for knife, right? Do you have one? Uh, it should be. I have. Uh, that's my. That's my stick. Red stick. Yeah. So mine's B then. Okay, those are switched. Would you like to switch right now? I don't know. Is it that drone here? Did you pick it up? Uh, I don't. I didn't. No, there's a uh, here. It is. Though. Yeah. Juke's happening. So. Not compare at all to Trey Art at my school. What do you mean? Like just like quality wise, Infinity yeah. Ward is inferior. Yeah, I've that always is, heard the no. It is. It's. I actually yeah. think they're on pretty level footing now. Yeah, now they after are after Black Ops. After Modern Warfare kind of went south and Black Ops came out. Yeah. Right now, uh, in or Trey Art made the game it did on Infinity War's shoulders. Yeah. Like it had, they had the framework laid for them. They had basically for anyone who doesn't know and kind of just wants to play the game. The uh, after Modern Warfare Two came out, the uh, developer is Infinity Ward for that one, and uh, they basically had some issues with Activision and payments and royalties and stuff, and uh, that led to kind of a falling out, and they left. They ended up uh, starting their own, a lot of uh, kind of the heads of Infinity Ward started their own um, company with EA called Respawn Entertainment. Their project is still unknown. Yep. It seems likely that it will be a military first person shooter, yeah. but we don't know. And so anyway, um, kind of to, so Infinity Ward, the makers of the biggest game in the world at the time, which was Modern Warfare 2, uh, they kind of fell from grace. They didn't really have the entire team that they had uh, been uh, developing with. So uh, yeah. Treyarch basically was given the framework for a Modern Warfare game and they made Black Ops with that. And uh, I mean, they'd already been making it up till that point, but yeah, it's... Did he, did he uh, it, the skeleton of Black Ops yeah, is Modern Warfare. The skeleton of Modern Warfare became oh. Black Ops. Okay. So Modern right. Infinity Ward was the better developer until um, they lost a lot of their talent. Right. Uh, there's this interesting video of like the credits for Modern Warfare 2, and someone edited it so that everyone who left Infinity Ward is now crossed out in red. Yeah. And like Imagine a huge chunk probably, of their yeah, studio is gone. Yeah. or so. Yeah. Did you take down that truck? No, I took out a bigger, like a huge mob of guys. I'll take out the truck though. Is there one for you? I feel bad stealing it. It's really fun. No, it's fine. That just makes me wonder how that's going to affect Modern Warfare 3. Well, Modern Warfare 3 then, instead of... Because it was, like, once Modern Warfare 2 came out, it was clear that they were doing a 3. Right. So Infinity Ward restructured, and then uh, another company that Activision uh, is the publisher for and is kind of, like, in-house Activision, Sledgehammer, who... Uh, one of the their main guy originally worked on Dead Space. Um, they were working on kind of a third person action uh, Call of Duty game, and it's some uh, horror elements I heard. Yeah, I wouldn't. They were probably doing something with zombies, um, but they uh, then joined Infinity Ward to complete Modern Warfare Three. Come on, uh, get out of here! And now so, they're on asset creation for Modern just, Warfare Three. Because yeah. uh, there's going to be at least 20 um, DLC. batches of DLC yeah. for Modern Warfare 3. Not all of those will be maps. I've heard some are like weapons no, and whatnot. No, it's weapons. Nice. And... But that's 20. That's crazy. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> so, uh, like right off the bat? No. Or... No, Just over the a, next over a year, year, probably, yeah. That's, right. I mean, that's over one thing a month to download. Yeah. Like, right. it's getting close. To, that's, that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, so I that noticed. makes the uh, that makes the hardened edition very appealing. Yeah, because don't you get that? You get Call of Duty Elite, yeah. which gives you a subscription for all the DLC. Nice. Um, which it will surely be more than fifty. A uh, subscription to Elite is fifty bucks, and I guarantee the DLC will be more than fifty total. Yeah, it ends up being about. Um, do they have all, all the, the DLC? Yeah, but like just for the map packs, it'll be forty-five. So you right. you do quite. Uh, uh, you save. A good job. Yeah, you end up saving about $10 if you go in and, and buy Elite, but... Um, That's mad. Yeah, 10 bucks. Let's see, we got a couple dudes coming up down here. Sounds like LTG Hawkeye is requesting some Halo 3 the second half of the show. We... Uh we don't, don't have Halo have 3 on us this show. Focusing, yeah. but our focusing on the MW. It's yeah. true. Um, LTG Hawkeye, we'll be here next week with cool. Modern Warfare 3, but then we could yeah, we could do, we some, could Halo do some Halo 3 in the second half. Um, it's been a while. Thanks for requesting. We just don't have it this show, unfortunately. We just, yeah. We're yeah. sending off Modern Warfare 2. In the best style. And 1 in the have. worst way. Yeah. Yeah, 1... That was not good. But. Now, I was just watching TV the other night. I saw a commercial for Arkham, and apparently Nightwing is now out as DLC. Yep, he came out on the first. It's $7, and you get an extra skin for Nightwing, and you also get, um, I believe you get one other thing as well. Uh, it's like two extra challenge maps that you can't get. Oh, nice. 